We just got ready to head out. We're gonna have a pretty chill day. It's a Saturday. We're gonna go to a Japanese cafe in Central to get some brunch. Well, it's basically lunch now. And then um, maybe walk around Hyde Park a bit. And um, we booked a mini golfing thing at around like 6 p.m. Um, so it's gonna be like a full like day out in London. All right, we tried to go to Cafe Kitsune, but all the good sandwiches were sold out. So now we're going to a Lebanese place. Google Maps always leading us to a sketchy alleyway. actually so excited for this. So this is gifted. They reached out to me asking if they can send me one of their shower heads and I immediately was like yes because I actually used to already use their shower filter and I really like it but because the tub here the nozzle and where the shower head connects it's a bit too close to the tub you have to get this little adapter thing but I didn't get a chance to order it so when they reached out I was like yes I would love a shower head but also could you send me a shower adapter for the filter so they did that as well so I'm gonna attach that now and um, hopefully this will provide double the filtration I don't know how how much better it is than the Amazon ones. Well actually the current, so right now where I'm living now there is an Amazon shower filter in and I don't think I feel the benefits of it like my hair feels very like stripped and dry every time I shower here so um, I definitely don't feel that as much with the Hello Clean one but yeah I'm excited to install this but also I've been a bit lazy so I've been putting it off but I'm gonna install it today. It has a really like soft matte feel. <laughs> this is my refill filter, which I didn't have a chance to install yet. So. 
this is a refill cartilage. And then I have the original one. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, strange. I can't find the. Anyway, I'll just install the shower head for now. That's so annoying that I can't find the case. Because I just got the adapter as well. Ugh. Headed out to a craft, not a craft. We're headed out to a ceramic sale in Peckham. I saw it on Instagram and it looked pretty cute. So, not that I need any more ceramics. dinner before I go to bed I thought I would just show you what I bought first thing we bought um, all the ceramics almost all, almost all of them had like seconds or like samples sales in front of their booth so the first thing I bought is this little incense holder I think it goes with my theme in the living room of um, blue accents so I thought that was cute and I don't have an incense holder or incense but thought that would be a good start <laughs> it's from this from this ceramicist and she has lots of cute like colorful stuff um but that was only I think 12 pounds and then next we bought two little chopstick holders from this ceramicist for their little chopstick rests one is Nate, one is me. <laughs> but oh, I, I dropped you. And then <laughs> I had an unfortunate accident on one of the booths. There was these like ceramic cherries kind of like standing upright on this plate. And I was going to pick up the cherry, 
but the stem broke off. I mean, next to it was another cherry, was another stem that was broken. So I was definitely not the first person to do that. And it was super delicate because I didn't pull it that hard. I felt really bad. So I wanted to buy something from our booth. <laughs> so I ended up buying this small little trinket plate because everything else was a bit expensive. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then lastly, got a little sauce plate. I was thinking I could put like soy sauce, like kimchi and like other side dishes in here. So very practical, I think. Although like when I look at stuff like this, I'm like, oh, I could totally make this myself if I was still doing pottery. I mean, I can go back, but I just don't have the time right now. But it's so cute. Um, but yeah, that's all we bought. Time for bed. Stay late. Ain't the night